What? Hello, this is Warner from Warner.tv, and today I want to talk a little bit about search engines, namely the one called DuckDuckGo. Yes, that is the name, DuckDuckGo. If you haven't heard of this, uh, DuckDuckGo is a great alternative to the almighty Google. I know a lot of you have tried Microsoft's Bing, and you may not have been happy with the search results you've gotten with uh, Bing. But DuckDuckGo is a unique, I think it's more of one of the unique uh, alternatives to Google because it alleviates some of the concerns people have with privacy online. And I know a lot of you have expressed your concern about privacy online, especially when I talked about the whole YouTube anonymous comment thing. So DuckDuckGo, in a nutshell, is a simple, simple web browser with some goodies in it. And they have these things called goodies that I, I really like what they're calling them. Um, and th they're things that we take for granted in Google. They're like little searches that you can do to make your life simpler. Number one, you can like calculate like a 20% tip on a certain amount. You click that and it gives you the amount that you need to have. These are little searches that you can do in DuckDuckGo. Um, this is one of my favorites. To generate a strong password, you simply type in password and then the number, let's say I want a 35 string password. That's a strong password. Look at that. That is a pretty good password. I gotta admit, I gotta admit. And some alternatives. So if you wanna look for alternatives to certain things, like let's say alternatives to, I don't know, let's say Chrome. Alternatives to Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Chromium, Safari. Look at all these things. These are all little built-in plugins and on, on their Google's, on, on their Google's, on their goodies page, I'm thinking about Google, on their goodies page, they have all these different categories of all the different things you can do. Very, very nice. Check that out. That's the number one thing. Now, if you go back to over here, they also say, we don't track you. This is one of the big things with DuckDuckGo that I think a lot of you will like because Google tracks you. They track everything. They're not ashamed to tell you. They'll track your email. They'll track your habits. They'll track what you click, where you go, and they kind of shape your search results around that. And that's what DuckDuckGo calls a filter bubble. Check this out. It's called a filter bubble. And it is something that I have known about for a while, but I never called it a filter bubble. Facebook does this as well. What they do is that they, they track your... They track your behavior online and they determine what you like, what you do, and they try to guess what search results should be tailored towards you. And a lot of times they don't get it right. So for example, they, they talk about in this example, you search for bankruptcy, uh, you may have searched for Obama, you may, lock, you may have searched for uh, Saturday Night Live, and then you go to Google and you get a bunch of results that are kind of related to that, but they may not be what you're looking for. That's called a filter bubble. DuckDuckGo doesn't do that. So give it a try, guys. What I've done is that I've set DuckDuckGo as my homepage. They also have a Google plus, um, I'm sorry, a uh, Chrome plugin. If I go to, let's see, uh, let's see, da, 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 da. if I go to like uh, google.com and I search for Buana, this plugin will give me a DuckDuckGo results link right at the top. So this is a, a great Google plugin to take you right to DuckDuckGo. And I, I gotta say guys, I like this web browser uh, based plugin because sometimes I like to search Google and it's like a habit and you know when you try to get off things that are hab habitual to you, you, you just do it and you're like, oh man, I want to use DuckDuckGo and I use Google. That plugin kind of throws it in your face, go, hey man, why don't you try DuckDuckGo? And uh, I, I really like the search engine too, the, the search results are actually pretty cool and I've kind of challenged myself to use it more than Google to see where I may be missing anything. So this this video, guys, is to tell you about this web browser called DuckDuckGo. It is a default, not web browser, a search engine called DuckDuckGo, which is the default on some uh, Linux distribution. So you Linux guys know about it already. But a lot of you Windows people may not know about it. So give it a try. DuckDuckGo.com, really, really easy to remember. Or you can do like ddg.gg which is a great URL, ddg.gg. All right, this is Born for Born TV. A little bit of information about DuckDuckGo. You guys go check it out over on their website and tell me in the comments what you think about it, your positives, negatives, what have you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.